this is the Power Rangers Lightning Collection, Green Rangers Dragon Dagger. What's going on everybody and welcome to the channel. Today we're reviewing the iconic Green Rangers Dragon Dagger from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So we're just going to take a little bit of a look at the box. As you can see we've got a really nice picture of the Green Ranger here. So next to the picture of the Dragon Dagger and obviously on here it says Mighty Morphin Dragon Dagger and then it's got translations here as well. Uh, Power Rangers Lightning Collection and also you can see the Dragon Zord at the back. This is recommended for 18 plus. It's got lights and sounds and requires two AA batteries. But yeah, if we take a look at the side on this side we've got Mighty Morphin Power Rangers logo and a little bit of info and on this side we've got the Green Ranger again so that's awesome. But on the back here we have a lot of details saying you know that it can unlock the you know we can push down the different buttons and unlock the iconic Dragon Zord call. Um, we got this button on the side here and that also remixes the tune and you can do different tunes and stuff on there. And uh, there's also a button here that you can press down and it activates the power glow. So, so it'll activate like a glow effect around the blade, which is pretty awesome. But yeah, it's got a lot of cool details. This also comes with a really cool display stand. But yeah, also another cool thing, just before we open this up, you can open this little flap up here, and you can actually see a lot of awesome details that it goes into about the Dragon Dagger and about, you know, who the Green Ranger is. And it's got some awesome pictures all along the box on the inside a little bit of detailed art and there we have an awesome picture of the dragon zord i would love to have that as like a art print or something on the wall like a huge one of that that'd be awesome um but yeah it's got a lightning collection there mighty morphin dragon dagger and there it is itself looking awesome so uh yeah Let's get into it and see what it's like. So yeah, we've got some little instructions here. As you can see, a little bit of details about how to assemble the stand and things like that. And then the Dragon Dagger itself. Yeah, so see if we can get this open as you can see it's got some little ties holding it in so we just need to quickly get those and then remove these ties just got those and done all right so yeah we got the stand here and as you can see it's got the green ranger on the front and a little bit of detailing around the sides cool and the other parts of the stand here. Let's just quickly assemble the stand. So we've got a couple of little pieces here. I believe, I'm not sure which way around this is supposed to go, but I guess it doesn't really matter. You can switch them either way. On the box it shows that way, so looks right to me. And if we just, if we can take this out now, get rid of the packaging. All right, but yeah, you can just take your dagger now and sit it on the stand like so looking awesome just look how awesome that looks you know on display um you know these actually feel really good real good quality you know to these and it's got like i'm just gonna take it off the stand again and you know just have a quick look you can see it's got a lot of awesome like weathering detail around the side of the kind of metal brush metal look and um, yeah, it's, it's just got a really cool amount of detail to it. Um, some little holes in the back here. I think that's where the speakers are for the sound. Or So that's awesome. Uh, got the little mouthpiece, I guess. Because it's a flute after all. And the, uh, the buttons that you can press down to activate the sounds. And they've got a really good clicky feel to them. So yeah, very good quality. Um, not sure exactly how this works, but it's got like a little selector. Ah, oh, and on the awesome little extra details on the bottom because it's got the 
like the dragon dagger or the dragon power coin sort of symbol on the bottom same as what's here so yeah awesome stuff design is really on point and uh, yeah it feels great <laughs> I'm just gonna set this down and uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna chuck some batteries in and I'll get straight back to you all right so we just got the batteries installed and um, yeah let's as you can see if you press one of the little keys in if you press one of these in so each little button does a different noise and uh, if you look on the instruct if you look on the instructions uh, you can see it actually has like the entire tunes that yeah um, so it like tells you like the different tunes that you can play and a bunch of the different features um, so that's awesome and it actually like tells you thankfully how to play the tune but there's also um, different modes as well you can also obviously press in the button on the side which is on here and you can activate the glowing feature so that's cool um, so yeah let's give it a go and see what we can do so first things first we're gonna attempt to play the iconic dragon call um, it's a little bit hard doing it this way around but uh, just for the sake of the camera uh, I will do it this way because normally you would hold it this way but that's you know uh, so yeah just for the sake of the camera, I'm going to try and do it the opposite way. Um, there we go, we've summoned the Dragon Zord. But obviously, <laughs> now I love that so much, but obviously you would um, have it this way in your hand um, if you was doing it. And obviously you get that glowing feature and you can turn that on like I said with this little switch here so so you can turn that on and it has like a hum in the background I don't know if it has any it doesn't have any clash features I don't think um, so like if you hit it it doesn't make any other noises or anything but if you press a button that will cancel the humming feature and then uh, it will go back to the idle sort of hum once you depress and uh, let it idle for a while. So yeah. And also, uh, the other feature is you can twist this little selector on the bottom. And that gives like a little cha-ching sound. That gives like a little sound to you know indicate that it's... Um... Let's just turn this off for a second. So yeah. And that gives a power off sound, so... Power it on and power it off. But uh, there's also a little key there and um, or button. There's also a little button on the side here that makes a noise. Um, but yeah, you can go through a bunch of the different tunes. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. Like so many cool details on this. Uh, so yeah. It's got such a good feel to it, and um, like the way that this is made, and you know, just the amount of details that have been put into this, it's it's really good. Like there was a legacy one um, a few years back that they made, so you know, if you missed out on that, uh, you can get this, and this actually has lights and sounds and everything, and it's it just works brilliantly. All the lightning collection stuff, like I've said so many times, I love it, and um, yeah. Let's just uh, take a quick look at the select feature. So like I said, you can select through the different modes and then when you hit the button, you know, obviously it does the normal sound on there. And then if you select the different mode, you can just press the button once and then it will do different things for each button. So obviously you get the dragon call. And this button, which plays the Power Rangers theme.
and you've got this button which also plays the I believe this is in the show it was like the attacking theme but I mean the most iconic of all of the tunes that the that the flute did because obviously it was used to summon the dragon sword so yeah awesome stuff I love it <laughs> and uh, yeah you got the glowing feature as well so how awesome is that power down But yeah, um, I just, I love it so much. The Green Ranger has always been my favourite Ranger. You know, as a kid watching Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, growing up in the 90s, you know, Power Rangers has been with me since, you know, since I was very little. But yeah, thank you everyone for watching. This channel has grown so much in the past few months and, um, you know, we've hit over a thousand subscribers and it's amazing. So thank you so much, everyone. It wouldn't be possible without your help. But yeah, if you did like this video, please hit that subscribe button and check out one of these videos next. Remix time!